What's up, Sagittarius, kings, queens, and everything in between? I am Austria, the Unbothered Queen. Today, I am channeling the collective of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising to deliver a general message for the month of February 2021. Please keep in mind that this is a general message, so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Energy is fluid, so this message could be past, present, or future, making it timeless. Um, I'm definitely getting a sense of balance, um, like an energy of balance for you guys. Also, um, kind of like a, a wanting um, to be free of something. Um, I'm also sensing like you feel like it's going to take a certain level of courage for you to do something. Messages for Sagittarius for Sun, Moon, and Rising for February 2021 spirit. General messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for February 2021 spirit. All right. General messages, please, spirit. Do you have any more messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for 2021? Any more messages, spirit? Okay, so the first message that we have here is you deserve love. It says you are lovable. For some of you, I feel like you're going through a situation where um, either... Well, in regards to love, that either someone is, like, forcing you to play a certain role um, in a family, like, keeping you, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm definitely getting a sense of, like, um, three to four kids, possibly a set of twins. Also, like a sense of like someone that's not really interested in having like more kids or something like that. Um, we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And I'm definitely getting a strong sense that, you know, um, the reason that financial issues are a factor right now is because of the kids thing. Um, we also have wedding. This situation involves marriage. So in that sense, again, um, kind of staying with the theme here, it's like you are being like a sense of like a shotgun wedding. It's yeah, the underlying message that we have here is give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. Yeah, I'm definitely getting this into someone that doesn't want to um, be in a certain situation, but they're feeling um, as if they're stuck in it. Messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising here for February 2021, please. What messages do you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for February 2021, Spirit? What messages do you have? And I also saw this in the pre-shuffle. It says abundance. I am a limit. I am a limitless being, and I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality. In this physical reality, um, yeah, that kind of comes back to the um, finances and career card. Love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Definitely kind of going back to, you know, the fact that you deserve love and to give your um, relationship a, sh a chance. It's going to say shot. Worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. 
Mm. Definitely giving a sense of like um, feeling, you know, kind of like I said, stuck in a situation there. Yeah. <laughs> Underlying message um, fear. It says, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Another message for Sagittarius Sun and the Rising Spirit for the month of February 2021. February 2021. Spirit, Sagittarius. February 2021. I'm, I'm definitely getting also too that a lot of you are in situations in which you're not being vocal about that. Like, you're not being vocal about how you really feel. Um, a lot of you aren't telling your uh, family and friends, like, what's really going on with you either. Okay, my spirits are showing out. All right, so the first card that I have is Work Through Your Fears. It's right there, New Moon in Scorpio. And spirit is just being real funny. No, I have no space for that. Um, it says your hard work is paying off new moon in Capricorn. Then we have a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. A lot of people are getting this card there. Yeah, uh, and then look, you showing up. It says luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius there. really giving me a like a sense of how do you say that um like longing I'm, I'm hearing where is Sagittarius at currently spirit where is Sagittarius at currently for February 2021 one card please where is Sagittarius at currently sun and rising one card for February 2021 spirit. Where is Sagittarius at currently spirit? Thank you. Okay. And so this is um, Pisces energy with the moon card here. It's it's the paw in this deck. Yeah, like I said, you know, I feel like it was something that you're not telling people that's going on. You're definitely keeping secrets from, you know, people that you really do care about. And it's, it's in a sense that you don't want to for a lot of you, I'm definitely getting a sense that, you know, you don't want to bring others um, down with you. But for others, it's like It's a sense that something is ending and you're moving but you're moving towards something better like well at least you have the hope that you're moving towards something better with the star um the death card and the six of um swords here it's like you you feel like this situation is going to um you know you're just being kind of um tight to the chest about what's going to happen but you feel like it's going to be a good outcome yeah you're very clear on that it, with the mother and I just popping up okay what question um what is Sagittarius questioning right now like what's on their mind spirit one card please what are they questioning okay yeah what are they questioning spirit what's on okay thank you yeah so it's kind of like you're questioning your own intuition in regards to a lot of situations that you're dealing with right now. 
it's like it's like you are um getting downloads from spirit at this time that's giving you information that it's like um I'm, I'm hearing lives in your subconscious. Yeah. And with the seven of cups and the six of wands, it's definitely something that's going to bring you um, a sense of a sense of victory. Um, and it's like you just need to make the perfect choice for yourself. I think that a lot of these downloads are coming um, to you in your dreams. What is causing concern for Sagittarius and the rising spirit? What are they concerned? Okay, thank you. Okay, we have the five of wands here. It's like a lot of you guys are okay. Okay, for some, it's bringing me back to that sense of like um. What's on your mind is a, is a child coming that um, you're not, you, you don't want or something like that is what I'm hearing. Um, that's very specific. So it's for a small few of you. Um, but I definitely think with that you are, um, for others, is definitely in a sense that, you know, you don't want people speaking negatively on who you chose to, um, I'm hearing like partner with or be with or like decisions that you've chosen to make, which is probably why you're not being upfront and honest about a lot of things or not telling people about what's happening with you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really having a sense that with this five of coins card is that you're not feeling in your best state of, um, like you're not feeling like you're at your best place of status at this time. You don't feel like you have, um, the certain things going for you. And it's kind of in a sense that you're kind of like, um, I'm feeling like a lot of you are, are feeling that you're struggling to, um, like change your monetary direction and like you don't want people feeling sorry for you which is why which is why you're not telling um people what's going on but you're definitely like struggling with this a lot what's what's the real issue for the Sagittarius seven and the rising spirit what's the real issue what's the real issue okay thank you really I'm hearing the real issue is money, the lack thereof, and you're worried about it. Okay, we have the seven of wands in the reverse here. So yeah, like I said before, it's like you are definitely struggling. I definitely think for most of you, or um, at least the collective in which I am getting downloads from, it's like a sense of um, um, a monetary struggle. But I think in this struggle, you're also struggling like um, mentally and emotionally, like being um, like positive and stuff. Like it's, yeah. It's like you're trying to fix this situation, but it's not like you you don't want anybody feeling sorry for you. Like I said before, you don't want any handouts. You know, you you feel like you can get it out the mud by yourself. You don't you don't need any help. What? Vibe is Sagittarius giving off energetically. Spirit, what vibe? No, spirit, one card, please. What vibe is Sagittarius giving off? Spirit, energetically. All right, thank you. We have the three of knives. Yeah, so I'm definitely getting. Some of you are giving a, a vibe of like, just a, like, like heartbreak in regards to a relationship um, that didn't go as you planned. For others, I, it's like you, you're giving off a vibe of um, not going anywhere. Again, 
that you know stability card and then like i said not going anywhere with that chariot card in reverse like you're giving this sense of like you are like stagnant what past energy is moving out for sagittarius thank you yeah the mother of knives it did flip over earlier so i definitely think that someone is being cold towards you i feel like someone's being overly critical of you could be a mother figure it could be like i said like your child's mom or something like that but it's like they are being um like real nitpicky which is causing you like like anxiety because I'm like yeah yeah we have the sorry we have the free man here which is the full card and it's like you don't want to be in this situation that you're in you want to I'm hearing like fly away from from um, this space I think a lot of you guys like um, impulsively decided to do something that that um, like put you in connection with this uh, mother's mother of knives energy too. What's the immediate future if Sagittarius stays on this path? Sun, Moon, and Rising Sagittarius for the month of February. Okay, so we have Dr. Grant here, which is um, the Hermit card. And it's, you know, it's it's a sense of looking within, you know, like because right now I think that it's kind of like a going with emotions sense that you're feeling right now. You're not really um, feeling in any sort of like level of... Um, internal growth is what I'm hearing. Some of you may be um, um, partnering up or getting a like a, some sort of mentor or something um, that's going to kind of help you with this situation. Yeah. Yeah. With the two of sticks and the, uh, yeah, see, look. <laughs> the, we have the eight of sticks the two of sticks and the black hermit which is the magician card like like this situation this action whether it be just you um doing the like introspection and self-growth and even some of you like spiritual healing to kind of um move forward outside of this like worry space um and fear space you're going to be a you know you're going to be able to transform this situation into growth that decision is going to you know give you not only a confidence boost but also like um you're going to create the plan to like uh, and be disciplined you're going to have a plan and discipline to you know uh, get to a certain level of uh, prosperity that i feel like a lot of you guys are like i said abundance a lot of you guys have been looking for for, like looking forward to and i think a lot of you guys like i said before you're getting this stuff like some of this stuff from like dreams like we're not gonna do that but that two of cups is right there all right let me know how sagittarius self identifies yeah how does Sagittarius self-identify? Okay, two cards. And also, I wanted to say, I feel like for a lot of you, it may not, um, even if it's not a wedding, it may be a situation like a, a high level of commitment. And that can definitely go to say for, yeah, see, the card decided it wanted to come out. So, it's like you're self-identifying as somebody that is 
taking the steps necessary and you're making um, certain decisions that are um, putting you in line with your abundance, right? You self-identify as somebody that is sure with um, the, like, determined with the choices that they've made. It's like you're happy with the choices that you, you've made. And look, and I said that, and there goes the sun card. <laughs> You're happy with the choices that you made. All right, what are the hopes? Is that the I'm going to rise and share the hopes, please. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're hoping to no longer be worried about your current situation you don't want to be in a space of um anxiety anymore you no longer want to have a feeling of um of stagnation or being stuck i feel like you feel like you're confined right now um with this mother of knives energy especially like i said someone is you know definitely being yeah yeah you're feeling like you're confined within your own thoughts because you you yeah it's like you're being forced to work with someone and some of you that may be um um very like not not like very true but it might be very um symbolic to like a working partnership for others it is definitely like a relationship and it's like a relationship that you don't really want to be in but you keep yeah <laughs> look a relationship that you don't think is going to work with the eight of coins there like you don't feel like it's going to be moving forward but you just <laughs> it's like you're trying to it's, it's almost in the sense of like you're trying to you know put in the you know you're trying to be responsible though even though you don't feel like it's going to work with that son of coins popping out there too all right what what um fears does um sagittarius sun moon and rising have for the month of february 2021 spirit what fears It's like I think I hear them flip over, but then I open my eyes. Yeah, so some of you are dealing with an Aries, right? Um, with the John, is it John Horse? Yes, it's John Horse. John Horse card and the reverse was just the Emperor card. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aries. Um, and some of you are, you know, it's like what you fear is being in a space of, It's almost saying this again, like almost being in, in a space of confinement, but not having like control over what's going on and not being able to move forward. Yeah. It, it's definitely in that sense of, you know, feeling that you, you don't have control over how things go. You don't, you don't have control over your happiness. And for a lot of you, I definitely think that this this situation, whatever it may be, is definitely karmic law with the justice card at the bottom. Um, you guys could be dealing with a um, Leo, um, a Leo, Libra, or Cancer here as well as a Virgo with that card. What people or person is affecting? Okay. So we have the tower card. So it's like, it's the universe. <laughs> like for lack of better phrase, it's the universe. Um, this stuff is divinely guided. Like I said, it's karmic law. It, it was due to come. And with the big house there, it's just, <clears throat> excuse me. It's something that is spoke, supposed to happen to to transform your situation, to get you out of this worry energy, you know, to get you out of that fear um, situation, to definitely um, continue to let you know that luck is on your side. What's the outcome for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for February? Let me put it on spirit. What's the outcome? 
I definitely think so. You guys um, are going to understand that you're kind of going to have clarity this this situation um, or how, like how it's happening to you is something that needs to happen. And you're going to kind of like, um, you're not going to go against the change. You're going to kind of like lean into um, this dramatic change that's going to you know shape everything to its foundation okay yeah so we have the free man so the a new beginning is coming regardless yeah and it's definitely in the it's definitely going to be stable and secure like it's double new beginnings with that 11 11 and that four you're going to be celebrating um new beginnings here um, you're going to um, possibly be reconciling with someone from your past as well. I'm, I'm getting a sense of that for some of you. Yeah, I definitely think that this situation is going to bring, yeah, stability and forward movement. We have the growth card um, of the, with the eight of sticks here. And then we have the the four of coins here as well you're definitely going to be you know um moving forward into the growth that, i'm sorry into the stable um disability that you want definitely getting a real sense that um, for some of you you don't know it's like it's almost a sense of like you feel like something's holding you back but you don't you don't know what that is like and for a lot of you it, it is yourself um, for um, the moon card here, we have, yeah, see, what did I just say? <laughs> we have the full card here, and, you know, I was just speaking of, like, you're not knowing what's holding you back. And, again, I think the reason that you're not being open and honest about things is because you fear, you know, moving forward to some ex to some extent. Because I think that you feel like you, you know that you need to change or something in your situation needs to change, something that you may feel a little bit um, comfortable with this time, that but is not something that's for your highest good there. Yeah, we have the the um, the strength card in the reverse. And now we have Aquarius and Leo out here as well and i'm just because this card popped out um when we were shuffling through that other deck so that's a little bit but this one this time is in the reverse so it's like it's like the reason that you fear change and the reason you don't want to tell people uh like new things that you're doing is like a sense of pride like you don't like i said before you don't want people like looking at you a certain type of way you don't you don't you don't want to have to defend your actions What's um, Miss Ida Spirit? Yeah. Yeah. See, <laughs> the Ten of Cups in the reverse and the um, Knight of Cups. It's like you're being loyal to a, like, dysfunctional um, situation. What I'm really getting a sense of is, like, a... Um, Another reason why you're not speaking about it is because it's like, um, like your family is, is broken up like, um, like with your baby mom or, um, I'm sorry, baby mom, um, with the mother of your child or the father of your child or something like that. What's the five of sticks spirit? What's the five of sticks? Yeah. You're definitely deciding to move forward. Um, 
out of this space of feeling like, you know, you have to be, um, I'm hearing on edge all the time. Like that, that, like what's the only thing that's on your mind is like moving out of this space and getting into a balanced, stable situation. You no longer want to, you know, um, put in um, hard work and not receive a reward for that. What's the um, what's the seven six here, spirit? And it's almost in a sense of you know, you like I'm. Yeah, so it's like you're not feeling like things are balanced as of now. You feel like you're giving to stuff and you're not getting anything back. I'm getting a real strong sense of abandonment. Yeah, you're feeling like you feel like nothing is pouring into you, but you're pouring into everything else. I feel like you're also having a sense a sense of like feeling like you you know you have bad luck. like especially in love for some of you but I'm also hearing is like you are getting downloads from spirit to, to let you know that um, when certain situations when certain situations aren't um, for your highest good and you have to make the uh, the choice to step away from that like you, you have free will to choose whatever you want to you know whichever direction in which you want to go in so the, it's not like you have yeah see yeah so you're definitely disappointed and heartbroken about a, a situation in the past in which you're feeling like um something or someone really let you down i'm definitely hearing a sense of like an abandonment issue um here um also like um like a sense of um like yeah like it's like somebody rejected you and it's and it's definitely it's like left you waiting left you out like waiting for them to come back kind of like like a, in a mental game space there but i'm really definitely you know even though like I'm definitely getting a sense of somebody that's wearing their heart on their sleeves here. What's the mother of nine spirit? Yeah, like the the sense that I'm getting is like you're just you're you're feeling like all is lost. Or, or at least that's that's like how um, the energy that you're giving others is that like all is lost. Yeah, and some of you guys are dealing with an Aries here. Um, and then we have that world card in the reverse. So again, it's more of that um, bad luck and you know lack of control of your situation here. And again, um, it could be the Aries um, or, you know, the mother of your child, you know, if they are Aries or something like that. But it's like they are, I'm hearing rubbing something in your face. I don't know if like you needed them um, after a time maybe. I'm also getting a sense that like some of you, um, <laughs> I don't want to say seduced because you know, I don't think that anyone can be seduced, but it's like some of you like felt like you were seduced into a certain situation. But I'm definitely feeling like a strong sense of bad luck. And in the sense of you like your child's mom, some of you, I think that maybe you have like two, um, like you had maybe two women pregnant at the same time, or now you're you're having two like two, um, 
like two children to a to two different moms or four children to two different moms or something like that. What is Dr. Grant here? Okay. What is Dr. Grant? Yeah, see. It's like you Yeah. Okay, so it's like you're releasing the burden here of self-sabotaging when you start to look within. You're realizing that the way in which you've done things in the past is no longer working for you. So you're releasing that self-sabotaging energy with that 10 of um, wands and that nine of pentacles in the reverse. And it's like you're looking within because you're understanding that something has to change. Something that you've always done is no longer working for you. So you need to make... Um, I'm here and put your best foot forward to change that. Yeah, if you want stability. Again, that four of wands that was here. It was like it was here. If you want that new beginning, you're gonna have to stop that bullshit. Okay, what's that two of sticks there? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like okay, so With this here, it's like um, you're kind of understanding, like it, it's okay. So I'm getting a sense is that how you're you're identifying as a person what things happen to you. Like you're not like making a decision of things happening. It's just like things are happening to you. And it's because you're not in a place to make the decisions because you don't control the outcome of things is what I'm hearing. But I also, I'm thinking, you know, that is a, a kind of like a lot up to you. Like I'm, I'm getting a sense of someone that it isn't, um, taking, um, taking stock in you know how um, valuable they are like someone that isn't putting forth the level of ambition um, that they should in their craft or their life in general which is why you're feeling like things are happening um, to you um, but things don't happen to you things only happen for your best benefit even the things that aren't um, that don't make you happy. They still are happening for you to make you ha learn a lesson that you won't need to repeat. Yeah. With the page, we have the page of swords in the reverse, and then we have the five of swords here. It's like a lot of you are not looking out for your self interest. And you're hoping that, you know, in the future that you are placed in, you know, I'm, I'm hearing that you're, you're putting yourself in a situation that allows you to look out for your self-interest. Because I'm hearing like you don't want it to be a part of any like petty nonsense. You don't want to be um, a vindictive person. Um, you don't you don't want to let all of the things that have happened to you affect how you are moving forward. What's the what's the emperor card spirit? What's the emperor card spirit? So we have the Ten of Swords, and then we have the, um, the eight, I'm sorry, the Ace of Pentacles here, both in the upright, and it's like, again, with like almost fearing, like kind of fearing change, but in this sense, I'm definitely getting a strong sense is that, you know, you're kind of fearing no, not being in control of the opportunities that you receive. 
And for those of you that are dealing with the Aries specifically, you are, you know, hoping that um, a separation or a divorce or some of some sort brings like new life to a situation or brings new life to you, changes your path that you have um, moving forward. Because a lot of you, have, I'm feeling like, you know, it's possible that the Aries was a karmic relationship that wasn't supposed to last as long as it did. But when you made certain decisions, it kind of like links you to that person. And then it's like, then you also didn't, like I'm, I'm hearing, didn't handle, handle things to your best ability. Like, um, it's like, it's in a sense of like, you knew better than to um, um, I'm hearing hurt them okay so the cards here um, on the big house we do have the four of swords and the upright and that's really like I said that change you know I really think that the change yeah let's see no we're not doing this i think that the change that you're having is for yeah so okay the change that you're having is in the lack of clarity that you have in your current situation with the knight of um, swords in the reverse and the four of swords in the upright and i'm, I'm feeling like something is, is is going to shock you at the um or it may be happening now in which you kind of take stock in yourself realizing um, what you've done to place yourself in cer certain situations also realizing that um, everything is not done to you and you know you can't continue to be you know um, reckless you know what I mean like and I'm also getting a sense of you know just being impatient of a lot of situations um, like expecting like um, things to come quickly like when you haven't put in much effort yeah look the four of swords i'm sorry the four of cups again in the reverse there it's like you know you feel like you're missing out on something that's why you're always like trying to move so fast you don't need to do that I'm definitely getting strong, like Aquarius energy, Leo energy here, Aries. Um, and even with the, um, I'm sorry, with the queen of, um, the queen of knives, that's that, that's that Libra energy. Yeah, but I think like with that five of cups just popping out, you're kind of releasing that. You're, you're kind of releasing the people that are no longer serving you or realizing that at least like a little bit of separation needs to happen. What's what's the free man here, Spirit? What's the free man? What's the free man? Yeah. The free man is making a choice. You're, you're going to, you know, like I said, you're going to be committed to moving forward and having new new beginnings, yeah. And you're you're going to understand that everything that isn't done, like meaning you don't need other people for closure with the world in reverse. You don't need to explain yourself or explain your, your situation to um to those around you. It's like it you're you're coming out of that space of depression, you're coming out of that place of stagnation and sadness, um, and you're choosing to move forward with a plan. Um, a lot of you guys are going to be thinking about um, a sense of like spiritual um, um, awareness or spiritual awakening, um, getting um, closer um, to the divine. Um, a lot of you guys are you know going to be thinking about no longer. I'm hearing shacking up and thinking about kind of, you know, marriage, <laughs> plain and simple. Um, you're going to want to to have something a little bit more, more committed. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get you some Oracle cards before I go ahead and close out the reading. This is definitely a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, so I'm so sorry, Sagittarius. 
Can you make some cards for Sagittarius? Spirit, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please. Cards for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please, Spirit. Cards, cards for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please. Cards for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please, Spirit. Any more messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Okay, there's some more ones to come out. So, this one is off the floor. Alright, so it says take action. Like I said, yeah, that stagnant, that stagnant sense of, like, not moving. You're, you're not wanting to go anywhere. It's saying compromise. Yeah. And that's definitely um, a, something that is, like, you know, it says a new romantic cycle, right? And we have those, um, why don't I know what that's called right now? Oh my, it's gonna come to me. But basically, it's like you have to um, be okay with, you know, giving your fair share. Definitely getting a sense of that um, with that new romantic cycle. Yeah, something's coming in divine timing. Like I said, all of this is for your better, your um, the your best good. Yeah, listen to your intuition. Like yeah. As I was saying too, like you're getting information given to you, but you're not being accepting of it. That's why I think that you have to kind of go through your spiritual awakening to be a little bit more um, um I'm, I'm hearing clear cognizant. Oh, we're not definitely not doing that. Spirit is super funny. It's like you Super, super duper funny today, Spirit. Okay. Give me a message for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay. It says start where you are. And. Okay. And then. <laughs> Spirit is so funny. It's like, I gave you the same amount of cards. Anyway. Okay. So start where you are. It says the great um, thing about feeling deep, profound, earth earth shaking love is that you can start with anyone see yeah like that new love is coming in there then we have create a space for new love it can, you're definitely getting new love when a thing when a thing hurts your eyes stop looking at it when it hurts your ear stop listening and when it hurts your heart stop justifying it mm. that was kind of deep okay so then we have um, that you have options is meaningful. Rock on. Like, yeah, like I, I definitely got that sense that you don't feel like you have a choice. If I can make just two wishes, I'd wish I could somehow convey to you the profound depths of my gratitude for every moment of your life. I'd also wish that you could somehow imagine, somehow know of your unimaginable importance just as you are to the lives of so very many and of course i'd wish for even more wishes oh shoot you're you were such a good idea the universe all right let's see what the underlying message is here it says dwell on what you love then it says asking someone to change is like pruning a tree Neither will ever be the same again. Scary is still that you can't quite know in what new directions they'll grow. I wouldn't change a leaf on you. Aww. And I'm also getting this since the Spirit is telling you that you are too hard on yourself. Like, I'm getting a lot of, like, um, negative, like, anxious energy. Yeah, I keep my own counsel as the affirmation that came out for you and it's really in a sense because it's like listen to your intuition you keep getting that yeah you're being too hard on yourself i spread joy like people love you you know like you don't want to be in a space where you are um thinking that like all is lost and like, you can't turn this around because a new beginning I, like i said i saw it like it's a definitive it's it's coming all right Messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of February 2011. Please, Spirit. Thank you. And it's also kind of like a sense of like 
Stop putting your head in the sand when situations arise. I definitely have a sense of you like putting your hand in the head in the sand when stuff happens and not like being vocal about what's going on, like I said before. But it's like to people that can help you or at least people that can listen and maybe give you like some sound advice. Like if you're, um, you know, if a mentorship is, is coming in for you, you have to be open to that type of stuff. So I have jump in. It says Andromedan energy, adventure, say yes to change. That's like the overall of your whole reading right there, saying yes to change. Um, and then we have the courageous peony, multifaceted, unique nature, let yourself be seen. Yeah, I definitely, yeah. Like, I love like when the clarification comes through so deep. We're gonna definitely read that jump in part before we end the reading here. Okay. All right. All right, Andromeda energy is, I'm sorry, Andromeda is a spir spiral galaxy, the closest galaxy to the Milky Way. It's believed that Andromedan star seas are a group of beings who love their freedom. Very adaptable. They have a strong willingness and ability to change and go with the flow to find calm in the chaos to swim with the tides this card is here to encourage you to do the same perhaps you have a significant goal to, goal or opportunity ahead of you if so you're being guided to jump in don't wait for permission don't stall until you feel ready take a deep breath and a good old a good old run up and jump right on in life bends for the courageous and courageous is what you're being called to be. You're already facing the right direction. The only thing left to do is leap. You'll figure out the details as you go along. Things may not always be smooth, smooth sailing. Life on earth really is. However, it's the rougher seas that teach us how to sail with glory. And once you know that, you can navigate any sea ocean or storm the andromedans want you to fall in love with surfing the waves of life to seek more adventures to embrace your own adaptability and find a way to be the calm and the chaos you didn't come to earth to be passive you came to earth to truly live now take a good run up and leap if that's like that's so much confirmation right there Sagittarius. i cannot take it okay because like that's basically what we've you know been saying here like you know you you feeling so stagnant like you you're not wanting to move ahead like it's like you're making that choice but you have to decide that that's not that's no longer serving you at all um i'm gonna go ahead and leave it here so shares um i definitely want you to comment like subscribe share Definitely let me know what's going on with this situation. I definitely want to, you know, hear from you guys. Um, and if you would like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below. And I'm going to let you go now. And I'm so sorry for the long message. Bye.